Hello everyone, this video is to show you how to use Desmos calculator in finding the critical values. For number one, find the critical values given a left tailed with A equals 0 0.10, a two tailed test with A equals 0 0.02, and a right tailed with A equals 0 0.005. So there are steps to follow and uh, there are things to consider if the given is left-tailed, right-tailed, or two-tailed. So, it says here the first step is draw the figure and indicate the appropriate area. Before you find the appropriate area, you need to consider the following. If the test is left-tailed, the critical region with an area equal to alpha will be on the left side of the mean. And if the test is right-tailed, the critical region with an area equal to alpha will be on the right side of the mean. And please do not forget this. If the test is two-tailed, do not forget to divide the value of A by 2. One half of the area will be on the right of the mean and one half of the area will be to the left of the mean. The only thing that I want you to remember here is when it is two-tailed, divide the value of A by 2. So let us find the first one. But before that, you first go to Desmos Calculator. Use the keypad, click function, dist, inverse, normal distribution, 0, 1, and the value, shade the area, and label it. So here's how to use Desmos Calculator. First, click the keypad, go to function, First, click inverse. Then, there is parenthesis here. Click function again. Click normal dist. And inside this parenthesis, type 0, comma 1, and close parenthesis. Then, do not forget to put comma and the value. The given that we will be finding for is a left tailed with A equals 0 0.10. We will not divide by 2 because this is just left tail. So type 0 0.10 or just simply 0 0.10 or 0 0.10 and don't forget to close in a parenthesis. So the Z value is negative 1.28, meaning you will draw and find negative 1.28 under the normal curve. How about the second given? This is two-tailed test with A equals 0 0.02. So according to the rule, it says here, if it's a two-tailed test, A must be divided by 2. So if the given is 0 0.02, that is 0 0.02 divided by 2, the given is 0 0.01. So we will use 0 0.01. So just change this. So it's the same, 0 0.01. And the value is negative 2.32. Or if you want to round that off, that is negative 2.33. So this must be on the left and the other one is on the right. So since this is two-tailed test, do not forget to draw negative 2.32, or if you round this up, negative 2.33 on the left, and positive 2.32 or 2.32 on the right. So I will show you how to draw that later on. And the last one is right-tailed test, which is 0 0.05, please do not forget that the value will be on the right side. So what's the value again? 0 0.05. So let's just change this, 0, 5. So the Z value is negative 2.57, or this is 2.58, but since this is to the right, the right will tell you the sign. So if it's to the right, this will be positive 2.58. And the shaded area is on the right. 
So the purpose of this video is just to show you how to use Desmos calculator in finding the critical value under the normal curve. So again, if we will find another one, first click the keypad function, then inverse inside the parentheses, click function and click normal dist. Do not forget to put zero, comma one, and close parentheses, then comma, and any value of A. So if the value of A is 0 0.01, that is D value. So if you want to put zero, that is fine, or without zero, that is also fine. But do not forget to put comma in between this. So again, this is how you use Desmos calculator in finding the critical value.